Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the United Cup field has officially been set with the final two teams coming in to set up the whole group stage now. And the two teams might actually surprise you. We have some massive outs that are not playing, some teams that are not playing. Let's go have a look at the full list now. So jumping into Group A now, along with Greece and Belgium, is going to be Bulgaria, headed up by Grigor Dimitrov. Very interesting to see because Bulgaria, not really a team as such. It's just really Grigor Dimitrov who will be heading the team and we'll see who goes around him. And then in Group B, along with Poland and Switzerland, we have Kazakhstan. But the thing about Kazakhstan is we don't have Rabakina. The Wimbledon champion will not be playing at this event. So it's Kazakhstan without their best player going in there with that Polish and Switzerland team. So there you have it. So they are the teams all set now. The United Cup starts at the 29th of December in Australia. And the big outs, we don't have Djokovic and Serbia. And we don't have Canada, who have a great team on paper. If you put in, you know, Shapovalov, Oje Eliassime, Andrescu, Fernandez. It's just a great team, and Canada's not going to be in it, which is really strange to see, because I would have thought they'd be the first team to put their hands up, but I guess they're all going to go their separate ways. And with Djokovic allowed to play in the Australian Open, it's weird that he is not putting his name up in the Serbian team, or at least making uh, Serbia eligible, because he is the highest-ranked player, of course, for Serbia, and he would have got them in there with his ranking, but... Let me know down in the comments below. What do you reckon about the United Cup? Are you happy? Are you excited to see it? Of course, we've got players like Nadal, City Pass, Kyrgios playing on the men's side. Fiontech's playing for the ladies. So we've got some big names playing, but it does seem like we are going to miss out on some massive names, including Ogele Asim, you know, the Canadian team. Obviously, Djokovic isn't going to be playing this event. He's going to have to play somewhere else uh, before the Australian Open. But let me know down in the comments below. What do you reckon about the United Cup next year and the field that's been set?